Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons onto your Brooklyn theme of Shopify. So actually I have already created a lot of other videos uh, related to the themes like I have used the simple theme, narrative uh, and uh, s uh, there are like a minimal and a bunch of other themes I have already covered. So one of uh, my subscriber has told me that I have to create one video on Brooklyn theme because he was using that one. So uh, in this video I will be showing you that how you can uh, add that specific PayPal code into your uh, cart page as well as the product page. So that will help you to collect the amount I mean accept the payments from your customers uh, by credit debit card. Alright so this is really simple you need to follow the steps which I will be doing in this video so if you are a, a new uh, on this uh, channel just click on the subscribe button and subscribe this channel because in the coming videos I will be uh, uploading lot of other uh, good content uh, which will definitely help you technically uh, maybe you will be facing some issues or something like that so you will be getting a simple solution of whatever problem you will be facing that one if you are still thinking that you have any idea of specific problem that you have you are in I mean you stuck with that one so you can add in the comment section I will be trying to uh, create one video on that as well so uh, let's start with the video now so you can see that here we have uh, this specific product page and I have already added PayPal smart buttons over here. So if you will be seeing over here like uh, a cart page, so I have already added PayPal uh, debit or credit card. So if I will be refreshing this page now, so all the things would be removed because I have uh, undo the code which I had added onto the uh, themes file. So let me refresh this one as well. So if I am refreshing this one, then again those buttons would be removed. So let's start with the beginning that how I did all the stuff. So first of all you need to go to your uh, dashboard of your Shopify store and here you need to click on themes. So once you are clicking on themes then you will be getting something like this. I mean this screen you will be getting and you need to click on actions. So once you are clicking on actions then you need to click on edit code. So you will be landed to a specific screen where you can uh, add the code according to your need. So first of all we will be going through the cart page as well as the product page. So if you will ask me the question that why we are not adding this code into the checkout page. So this is because uh, Shopify has restricted the, that specific page to edit anything over there. So they have just hided the checkout page code from uh, us, I mean from we guys uh, who are uh, purchasing the uh, Shopify subscription. So if you are uh, the, uh, you have purchased Shopify plus plan then at that moment you, you will be able to get that specific checkout uh, template file. Alright and still we are using basic plans and uh, most of the cases people are starting their startup with the basic plan so the, we mostly uh, have the access to cart page as well as the product page. So let's see, <coughs> so here you can see that we have a lot of folders here like templates, layout, section snippets. So first of all you need to click on templates folder and inside of it you will be getting card.liquid. So if you will be clicking on that one you will be getting a lot of stuff over here. But to make it simple let me uh, tell you first of all you need to uh, add here developer.paypal.com forward slash demo forward slash checkout so once you are using this specific url then you will be redirected to a uh, paypal page where you will be getting all the code here so you can see that we have this code so you need to copy line number 14 and 15 from here and i have just copied this code from here and let me paste it on the top of this uh, card.liquid file so I have pasted that one. Now let's copy the code from line number 17 to line number 42. So I have just copied this specific code from here and let's, let's paste it on the last of this one. So on the last line I will be adding this one. So you can see that I have added that code. Then finally you need to add here this specific line number 11 and 12. 
so just copy this code again i have copied this one and again paste it just above here let me show you where so you need to scroll it a bit and then you can uh, see here line number 205 like paragraph tag and above this you can add it over here so you can see that i have pasted here so if i am refreshing this page once again and let me show you this is my cart page and i am going to refresh this page once again and you can see that uh, we have the paypal buttons here all right so let's see how we can add the the same buttons on product page and then after there will be, there would be few minor uh, few minor changes that we will be doing later on but for now you need to go to sections and here you will be getting at the last product dash template dot liquid file so you need to click on this one and again the same thing you will have to do here like line number 14 and 15 just copy these two lines from here and paste on top of this product dash template dot liquid file then after you need to copy line number 17 to line number 42 and just paste it on uh, just scroll it down yeah the, uh, you should not go at the last but you have to scroll it up and uh, go in between so let me show you how so here above the schema uh, you will have 267 line and 268 line just paste that code over here so i have pasted that one so now the final thing is like uh, we need to copy line number 11 and 12 so let's copy this code here and let me paste this one yeah this is the add to cart button so above this button let me paste it here so i have pasted that one let's save this code and let me refresh the product page now so i have refreshed the end you can see that uh, we have the paypal button and direct debit card button right so if you are interested to hide this buy it now button or maybe add to cart button you can also do like that as well for example i am uh, i am clicking on buy it now so right click on this one or maybe you can also go to the code here so you will be seeing that here we will be having uh, buy it now code so this would be actually paypal button so you can just comment this specific uh, this specific line here so angular bracket then sign of exclamation dash dash and at the last again you need to write dash dash and angular black bracket close so if i am saving this line code of line then let me refresh this page once again yeah so you can see that buy it now button has been removed from now uh, from here and you can only see add to cart button here all right so this is really simple so let me show you a few things on cart page so for example i have this checkout page and update card so if you are interested to uh, hide this checkout page from here you can also do like that as well so for example i have the card.liquid file and you can also see here like we have checkout page so this is uh, and if you want you can also add some css otherwise you can also comment this one out so what you have to add here is you have to add angular bracket then sign of exclamation then dash dash and at the last again you need to add dash dash and angular bracket close so let's save this uh, code once again and let me refresh this page so if you will refresh this page now you will successfully remove that checkout page but still this is uh, the label is showing actually so this label is showing because of yeah this is the actually uh, label below so let's 
let's comment this one out as well so I'm just uh, cutting that one from there and let's add here so actually this button is opening from here and just closing at uh, this line number 213 so uh, below this button uh, button close button tag you need to add dash dash uh, angular bracket close so let's save this one now <coughs> and refresh this cart page once again so if you will be refreshing that one then you can see that checkout page has been removed from here and we are good to go with whatever we wanted to do so let me show you the uh, show you one thing that, that uh, you have already seen that on the top of this one we have client ID equal to SB so in the previous videos uh, there are people who also did some mistake and the mistake was like uh, they removed uh, SB M% currency equal to USD and then after added the uh, client ID. So this is not like that. You only need to replace SB with the client ID and I will be adding the link in the description. So you need to follow that link and you will be uh, able to know that how you can find out uh, the client ID. Uh, from your PayPal account right so that uh, that client ID you need to paste it over here nothing else you need to do right so in the same way we have the PayPal dash template dot liquid so on the top of this uh, page you will also get client ID equal to SB so you should also uh, copy and paste that client ID over here as well right so I think that uh, you got the basic uh, thing which I am interested to show you so the final thing that you have to do here is like uh, I have this product template dot liquid file as well as the card temp card dot liquid. So let's keep the uh, amount dynamic in the product template dot liquid. So you already know that we have this script uh, uh, over here and value equal to 0.01. So that means this is fixed value. So if your customer would be paying some amount so that uh, he will be able to see only 0.01 dollars but we are interested to modify this one so how it is possible so what we have to write here is we need to write here uh, these two brackets here these are uh, curly braces then you need to write here product dot price and pipe symbol and then divided by underscore by 100.00 so let me give you the proof of this specific syntax that this value would be correct or incorrect so let me copy this one from here so I'm going to display that one uh, below this specific these specific buttons which would be showing on to your screen I mean those buttons which are uh, PayPal buttons so let me add here one h1 tag here so here I am writing hello world and let me save this one and if you will be seeing over here on the product page then you will be able to see that hello world is over here right so I also need to add the price here so let me add the syntax of the price so I have just pasted that line of code and then let me save this one and again let me refresh this page <coughs> so I have saved that uh, that code and you can also see that 31.34 so if you wanted to verify yeah this is 31.34 actually this was selected so according to this specific price this is going to show us 31.34 which is the actual price of this uh, specific product all right <coughs> so whatever would be the price that would be reflected here and you can uh, you can remove this price from here for now uh, but you can add that price uh, in the script so that would be passed dynamically so this is the product page code next thing is on the cart page how we will be adding that specific price so let me find out here the price so here you will be getting a lot of other stuff 
actually you have to find out that specific price above the code which you have added because you can see that here we have the cart page and you can also see that on the subtotal we have 32.04 so if I am so this is cart dot total price all right so let me add that specific cart dot total price over here so you can see that value equal to 0 0.01 so I am going to replace this one with cart dot total underscore price then pipe symbol then divided underscore by 100.00 so if you needed the proof then let me copy this code from here <coughs> and I am going to write here hello world once again so that you could get the clear understanding of this price so you can see that I am writing here hello world and after that I am going to write this card dot total price divided by 100 so let me save this one out and let me refresh this page once again so you can see that here we have uh, hello world 32.04 so for example if you are adding some coupon or something like that so at that moment you can uh, use the subtotal instead of total right so at, at that moment you will able to manage the price according to your need so currently if you are not adding any uh, coupon or something like that then that would be good to go with this uh, specific syntax which we have used right now so i think that you got the basic understanding that how we did the code and how we added the price dynamically and uh, finally we uh, able to display all the things on the product page as well as the cart page here and we have also hided few things which were not required for our uh, code so I have removed that uh, h1 tag from here and you can also see that let me refresh this one so here actually I had the hello world so I have removed that one so finally we end up with the solution that we can integrate the credit debit card buttons uh, PayPal buttons onto our Shopify store and in this way you will be getting the uh, amount from your customers and uh, this is actually easier for the customers to pay you because in most of the cases people don't have the PayPal, uh, PayPal account so they prefer to do the payment using the debit or credit card so I think this is the best option so if you have not subscribed the channel just click on the subscribe button and also like this video as well uh, so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video